So hi guys, let's do a reading, 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 reading. So I want to do the affirmation you need to breathe, okay? So the affirmations you need to breathe. Let's do numbers. <coughs> okay, first pile. Second pile. And I tell you what the um, what those things mean, okay? Let's do five piles here. That's enough. Or let's do seven because our boys are seven. <coughs> mm. Okay. So for a pile, choose a number. And um, so <coughs> this is the 10 of wands. This means um, burdened out, like a burden. Um, <coughs> six of wands, success. Eight of pentacles, working hard. Seven of cups, illusion. Five of Pentacles, feeling abandoned. Eight of Swords, feeling stuck. Um, this is the page of Cups. That's a message of love. Okay, so choose one of those things that you think you fit to you. And we're starting with the, the Ten of Wands. <coughs> you universe what is who this one to come out so i'm taking this <laughs> this is the affirmation you need to breathe it says i'm not restricted by limiting beliefs i am gentle kind and comforting to my inner child as we uncover and release the old negative messages from family and society Isn't it beautiful? It's like, <clears throat> let's put it here. You are not restricted to limiting beliefs. That's why you feel burdened. You feel burdened by limiting beliefs because people put beliefs in, on you and you also put yourself, you put limiting beliefs on yourself. <clears throat> what is this all about universe? This affirmation. <clears throat> Yeah, grab the new light. Detach. Yes, exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> this is your burden. Look at this. You're burdened by the limiting belief system. The King of Swords is all about the mind. It's the reflection of yourself, you know. You see Juni here as the King of Destroyer, you know. King of Destruction. <clears throat> so this means um, you're burned out to the point that um, you wish you could destroy everything because it it burdens you, you know. Limit the, this is a limiting belief system. It's like people don't believe you can do it. It's I'm gentle, kind and comforting to my inner child as we uncover and release the old negative messages from family and society. It's like you're different than all the masses. You're different and... Um, you're tired of people always telling you um, <clears throat> that you cannot do it, that you, you know, you're not born to this, something like that. And it burdens you. It's exactly what this card is saying, you know. And <clears throat> this is the universe saying, well, you know, you have this extra life in your hand. Look at this. It's like Jiminy, Teangi and Hobi. Or is it Yungi? Who is this? I think it's Hobi on the right. You need to grab that extra life, you know? This is your life. Grab it. 
Don't see it black and white. Make it colored. Look how black and white it is. You need to change your life up and make it colored. And you don't need to believe your belief system. You need to let this... Oof. <laughs> okay. You need to let this <coughs> belief system you have... You, let, you need to let it go. You need to detach from that. This is not what you are, you know. And you need to love yourself. So you need to say this to yourself. I'm gentle, kind and comforting to my inner child as we uncover and release the old negative messages from family and society. You know, you have your own extra life in your hand. You are this, not what other people think you are. Okay. <clears throat> the 10 is always also a change. Um, a change a new life that's coming so it's exactly what this is saying okay so that's all what i'm having for my pile one let's move on to the six of wands the success card what is the affirmations you need to do universe pile two the six of wands what is the aff affirmation they need to, st to do Okay, I'm taking the one that's up under the pile. This one. <clears throat> wow, success. See, I freely express who I am. It is my birthright to express myself in ways that are fulfilling to me. So, let's see what this is all about. <clears throat> universe show me three cards yeah <clears throat> this is who you are the king of uh, the queen of wands this is your feeling you know Look at this. It's like you want to say who you are. You want to do what you want to do. You know, this is extremely um, doing what you want to do. You know, it's like you're saying, well, I, I am free. I am free to express whatever I want. And if I want to be sensual, I am sensual. If I want to be, um, you know, it's like you're tired of the thorn crowns people put on you. You want to express freely who you are. And if you want to be successful, then you want to be successful, you know, and you, you know, you only will be successful if you express yourself freely. It's saying it is my birthright to express myself in ways that are fulfilling to me. That's exactly what this card is saying. <clears throat> and you're tired of, um, this is like the page of Pentacles. That's always like a learning. This is like a student. You know, you're tired of always mm, lowering yourself. This is not who you are. It's like the student here, this, the Jin is, um, the page of pentacles is like someone who's learning from others. It's like the ever, you know, someone, it's like a student. It, 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 this person, the page of pentacles is like, um, he's growing up and while growing up, he's learning, he's, he's focusing on, um, you know, on, on also on what other people tell him. And that's not you. You say, no, I'm, I'm not um, bowing down to others. You know, you're tired of this in life. You want to express who you are. You know, you don't, um, you don't hold the balloon for other people. That's like what it's saying. You, tr you are changed. You are different. And that's what you're saying here. The butterflies we have again. So you're saying, well, I'm different, you know, I waited long enough to, to um, <clears throat> express my own self-worth. And you're tired of like doing what other people want to you, from you, you know, like a student, like people tell a student what to do. You're tired of this shit. You're saying, no, I'm starting now. I express myself who I am. I, it's my birthright and I'm doing this and I'm doing only the things that are fulfilling to me. And by that, you realize that you become more and more successful, you know. So keep doing what you're doing, you know. Looks good. 
but don't overdo it. You know, the, this card is dangerously um, that you, you know, you also have to stick to society a little bit. You know, this card is saying, well, sometimes you want to go against, totally against society. And that's not good too, you know. Always keep it in balance. Okay, now the Eight of Pentacles, Pile 3, working hard. What is your affirmation? What is the affirmation for Pile 8 of Pentacles? This one. <coughs> I trust and know that all is well in my world. Divine right action is guiding me every moment of the day. I know that whatever the outcome is, it is perfect for me and everyone concerned. I trust and know that everything is well in my work. You're working hard towards a goal. And you're like working, like working, 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 working. And you trust that you will get there. By hard, working hard, you trust the universe you will get there. What this is all about. <clears throat> You're not giving up. I want to put this on here because I saw it. <clears throat> yeah it's like you really you really are a loving personality and you want to share with the world your gift you really want to give you see how Teangi is um opening up his arms you're a very loving person and with your work you really help people you could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio um and you really want to help other people you could be someone who works with flowers you know like a decorator or you know like florist um but you really want to help and you keep on working like you work your butt off it's like death reverse you never give up through even through the hard times you know even through the hard times you you know even here he has his flowers or you might really be a florist <coughs> and um you have been through the hardships but you don't give up because you say at the end i trust and know that all is well in this world you've been through the ringer but you still keep on working you still have people you know you've seen it all you've seen everything but you trust look at this hobi is like totally looking at the sun and the sun is the most beautiful card in the whole deck so it's saying i trust and know that all is well in my world Divine action is guiding me. Every moment of the day, I know that whatever the outcome is, it is perfect for me. So even you work really hard and you cannot see what the outcome is, you just keep working because you trust in the divine. That's very beautiful. So just tell yourself this quote. You see also the, you know, you keep the four, I see the four of pentacles here. You keep working. You keep doing everything. You keep working. So that's beautiful. Next up is the illusion card. Let's see what this is all about. What is your affirmation? Seven of Cups universe. What is this? It's like the same, like... <laughs> yeah. That's funny. It's uh, Look at this. It's like the same card that came out with the Eight of Pentacles. But it's not the same affirmation. It's saying... <coughs> It's saying, I use my words and thoughts as tools to shape my future. Life is very simple. I create my experience by my thinking and feeling patterns. What I believe about myself and about life becomes true for me. So, what is this all about? We had this card coming out <laughs> the last days a lot. 
this is like a, because it feels like an illusion it's like daydreaming it's like it's like also when you drank too much but aren't you then don't you don't dream right when you are drunk i don't know i've never been drunk in my life what is this all about <clears throat> yeah it's like you feel this whole thing what you're um imagining um your future i use my words and thoughts as tool to shape my future it's like <clears throat> you imagining you know with words with thoughts you and especially with thoughts because the seven of cups is daydreaming um you know it's like the king of cups you're fed up with the situation that you can only daydream whatever your future the future you imagine it's like right now you can only daydream it's not there yet you wish it was but it's not and you can only dream about it and it's saying i create my experience by my thinking and feeling that's exactly what this card is what i believe about myself and now about life becomes true for me and um you want this to be true you want to shape your future but actually you're like on the verge of giving up because what you want you think is like an illusion you think you will never bring it into reality that's why here Gemini is here it's like you you think you have pink colored glasses on you know you think this is all an illusion and that's why you're stressed out you're like drinking maybe you're thinking well you know like Tiangi here well f it you know how should i ever make this um happen i'm not cute i'm just psycho maybe other people told you too what you want it's an illusion you are psycho your future um maybe with your crush it's a psycho you are psycho why do you imagine like this you know so don't do this to yourself don't give up and don't um it could also be that you're mad at people who tell you this well <coughs> you know so just say this to yourself I can shape my future, you know. My thoughts and my daydreams can shape, can really shape my future. Okay? <clears throat> Don't stress yourself out. We had this message coming out a lot lately. A lot lately that you're stressing out because you think you cannot manifest it. <clears throat> Don't do this, guys, okay? So now we're moving on to the Five of Pentacles. Feeling abandoned. What is this all about? <clears throat> Money is simply energy in exchange of services. How much I have depends on what I believe I deserve. I allow myself to accept prosperity. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles is like having no money too. It's like feeling abandoned or having no money. <clears throat> like money running through your, through your hands. Like, um, you know, you have never money to buy any merch or anything so you need to tell yourself that you deserve i allow myself to accept prosperity what is this all about yeah you're feeling stuck <clears throat> there are no rewards nothing is coming in yeah it's about your belief system has to change we're having here that you're feeling stuck you know you cannot move you you have no money um you know something like that it's like <clears throat> yeah you're like feeling stuck a little bit you know and um you want rewards you know this is also the card of receiving money you need to tell yourself that you are worthy you see this you are worthy of the gift you are worthy of money you are worthy of having abundance it's like this is a belief system it says bts belongs to army and army belongs to bts and this is like the life wants to teach you that whatever belongs to you belongs to you you know prosperity belongs to you the same as love belongs to you it's like you need to change <coughs> your belief system this is also you're stuck in your mind the swords is mind energy so this is more like a blockage in the mind so if you switched it off and you say well i allow ex to accept prosperity <clears throat> and you say money is an energy 
An exchange of service, how much I have, depends on what I believe I deserve. So this is exactly saying change up your belief system in your head. If you change this, then money is coming in. This is like how you can manifest money. It's like to say, well, you deserve and money just comes in and goes. Money comes in and goes. It's, it is an energy exchange, you know. <clears throat> but you also need to believe that you deserve it. Okay, so five of pentacles, this is your quote. Okay, your affirmation you need to breathe. So now we're going to the eight of swords, feeling stuck. What is this all about, universe? <clears throat> Let's take this. <clears throat> This present experience is a stepping stone to a new awareness. My spiritual growth comes to me in ways I don't quite expect. I know I'm always safe. So this is about spiritual growth, a stepping stone to a new awareness, especially in thoughts. This is a new awareness is coming in. And that's why the universe is keeping you stuck because you, you're like changing your belief system. <clears throat> Yeah. Especially <clears throat> yeah. Especially with love. I see that here. Um here the universe uh, doesn't give you the key yet. You know, you see how Teangi is not he cannot grab the key. It's like he wants to, but he sees this key is an illusion. So the new start is not yet here. Why? Because the universe is working with you, they keep you stuck in your mind, to change your belief system. To give you an experience, you know, is a stepping stone to a new awareness. So this feeling stuck right now is actually changing your mindset. It's actually changing how you are aware. <clears throat> and it's all about the spiritual growth that's coming in. And especially in love. We have here the King of Cups. So you could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this could be your person, your big love. So there's not a new start with your big love, you know, because the present circumstances um, <clears throat> change your mindset and you feel betrayed by this person. The Five of Swords, please apply it as it fits. Either, either you or this person feels betrayed. It's like being two-faced. So I think you experienced this with your person that they were two-faced and you didn't know why maybe they left you <coughs> and they didn't tell you the truth and they showed you another face as what they were. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I think that's what it is. Because here it's saying that there is no new start. There is a new start coming in, but it's delayed. It's delayed because... <coughs> either them or you are awakened. It could also be that they are awakened and the universe is keeping you safe and keeping you stuck to wait for them. You know? So please apply it as it fits. There is some kind of stuckness to change a mindset of a person and then the new start is coming in. So now we have the 11 of cups. This is like a, <coughs> a love message. So what is this? Pitch of Cups energy here is all about. <clears throat> okay, it's saying, I am in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. <laughs> yeah, so you will be what's saying, I see myself healthy, whole and living in a society where it is safe for me to be who I am and to love others. So you really learned what I'm feeling here is you learn really learned how to give love to yourself. You really learned how to love yourself. You are who you are um, <coughs> and you only accept people in your life who accept you for you, who you are. What is this all about universe? <coughs> yeah, you only share. Yes, we have the page of cups again and the epiphany. <laughs> Yeah, you don't take any immature people anymore. It's like, 
you know only the people who give their love to you who are like who have the same mindset that you with you you know the nine of cups is all about wish fulfillment so only um you take only the cups from the people who are your, in your friend circle or who, who you know with this person you have a common ground. Um, you know, it's like the right person in the right time at the right place. It's like this person matches you completely. And you're waiting for that message from that person to come in. And also in your mindset, it changed that you only take messages, you know, you only accept when someone comes in and expresses his or her love but it's like mutual to you you know this is the card for being a mutual being a mutual friend and this is the epiphany you're having high priestess reverse is like the epiphany that <coughs> only those who are in your friend circle who, who who have the right mindset the right imagining who are living in the same you know same as you are it's like you only want to love people who accept you as who you are and this is a very good mindset you know very good so you have to affirm it this quote you know i'm in the right place at the right time doing the right thing and you're on a good way because it shows me you really got it you only accept love messages from people who love you for who you are and that's very good Okay, so that's all what I'm having for this reading. I say bye guys.